Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can mail merge using a program called WPS Office. WPS Office is office productivity software made by a company called Kingsoft. It's a Chinese manufacturer of office productivity software and this software is entirely for free. It doesn't cost anything. You could download it and be mail merging in minutes. Now what is mail merge and how could you possibly use it? Well with mail merge what you could do is imagine that you need to send out let's say 100 or 200 emails but you need to customize each email based on the person you're sending it to. Similarly, imagine that you wanna send out a letter to people and for each letter, maybe you wanna include their first name, you wanna include some details about that person and you need to customize each and every single one. Well, one option is you could go through every email or every letter and you could manually insert that information or you could use mail merge to automate that for you. So all you need is a spreadsheet or some type of data source that has all the names and all the other information that you wanna customize and then you could easily insert that into your email or your document. And it's really easy to do and I'm gonna show you step by step how you do it. So why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, well here I am on my PC and the first thing that we need to do to be able to mail merge uh, with WPS is to actually get WPS. And the place where you get WPS Office is you go to the website WPS.com and what that'll do is once you type in that URL, you'll see this nice website and it says WPS Office for PC. You could also download it for other platforms as well and you simply go ahead and click on free download and that'll kick off the installer for WPS Office. I've already done that so I'm not gonna walk through these steps but this is where you get WPS Office and once again, this Office Productivity software is entirely for, you could get this entirely for free. So once I've gotten WPS, you'll have an icon here. I have it also on my desktop. You'll have an icon for WPS Office. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. This is the landing experience for WPS Office. Very similar to Microsoft Office, you have the ability to create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and they also go pretty heavy on being able to create PDFs. But today we're interested in doing mail merge. Now to do a mail merge, you need some type of list with the information that you wanna place into each email or each document. And what I've done is I've already created a spreadsheet called mail merge names. Let's go ahead and open that and I'll show you what that looks like. So here is a spreadsheet that I've created and I have a whole bunch of names. So first name, I have the last name, I have a plan that someone might be on, the due date, and then the person's email address. In this case, I'm just gonna simplify and keep the email address the same. So let's imagine that you know I'm some type of company, let's say I'm a web hosting company, and I wanna bill my customers, and for the month of February, these are all my customers who have a payment due. And each customer has a different plan, and of course, they all have different names. And what I wanna do is I wanna send out an email bill to each of these individuals, and I wanna customize it by the individual. So I wanna include things like their name, I wanna include the plan they're on, and their due date uh, for their bill. Now I could also send a letter, so instead of an email address, I could have an address in here uh, and I could customize an envelope. So the same techniques that I'm gonna show here, you could also use this for letters, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it for an email. So this is my list of all the information and now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna click back to WPS Office. This will bring me back to the start page or the home page. and what I wanna do now is I'm gonna click on a new document. So I'm gonna go ahead, click there, uh, this lands me on the document uh, start page where I see a bunch of templates. I also have the option to create a new blank document. That's exactly what I wanna do and there's a big plus button. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. What this will do is now I'm in a blank new document and so what I can do now is I could start typing up my message uh, but I also wanna let the document know what data source I'm using. So what uh, basically my spreadsheet, I need to connect that to this document now. And so the way I do that is I'm gonna go up here on the top and I'm gonna click on the references pivot. And within the references pivot, I have a bunch of different options, but the one we care about today is the one that says mail merge. I'm gonna go ahead and click on mail merge. And so this brings me into the mail merge view. Within the mail verge, what I wanna do now is I wanna connect this document to my spreadsheet and on the very far left-hand corner, there's an option that says open data source. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then it says open data source again and I'll click on that and now I have to find my spreadsheet. What I've done is I've saved my spreadsheet on my desktop uh, so I could easily get to it and there it is, mail merge names and I'm gonna go ahead and click on open. 
And once again, you could go to you could use different data sources. In this case, it's a spreadsheet that I'm using, uh, but there are many other uh, data sources that you could rely on for this mail merge. Now I've connected my spreadsheet to my document, and what I can do is I can click on this tab here that says Mail Merge Recipients. And when I click on that, you'll notice that this looks very similar to the spreadsheet that I created. I see all my names, my last names, the different plans, the due date, and the email address. It looks like there are also a few blank rows at the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck those uh, because I'm not gonna send an email out to blank rows. And so all that looks good. What I could also do is I could either select all, I could clear all, and just select specific individuals who I wanna send this email to. But in this case, I'll go ahead and just include everyone as part of this mail merge. And then I'll click on OK. Okay, so now I've connected my spreadsheet to my document, and now this is where the fun starts. What I could do is I could start using the different fields from my spreadsheet in my document. So I'll give an example here. I'm a billing company, and you know I'm gonna ask people for money, so I probably wanna start out with a very nice salutation. So I'm just gonna say dear. We're gonna start out with dear, and what I wanna do next is now I wanna put the person's first name in here. So how do I do that? Well, there's this option up here that says insert merge field. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And here what this shows now is it shows me all the columns in my spreadsheet. So I had a column for the first name, the last name, and so on. In this case, I wanna be somewhat informal, so I'll just insert the first name here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Insert. What you'll see happen, now I'm gonna close this, what you'll see happen is it says Dear, and it has these uh, open brackets and close brackets, and it says First Name. This is where it's gonna insert the person's first name, and now I'm gonna insert a comma. And I'm gonna say your bill for plan. And so the plan now, this is the plan name. So I'm gonna go back to insert merge field and we could insert the plan name. So your bill for plan is due on, and then I'm gonna insert another space and we're gonna go here again and now we're gonna put in the due date. And we're gonna say, please submit a check to 123 Main Street and that's gonna be in Seattle, Washington, and we'll put down a zip code for that. Thank you, or we'll say thank you. Um, your, we're gonna call this your billing company. Okay, so what I've done now is I've customized this email message where it's gonna insert the first name, it'll insert the plan, and it'll insert the due date. Now you could insert any number of things that you want if you have more fields that you wanna put in, but this simply demonstrates how you could insert different information from your spreadsheet. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna see what it looks like now that I've inserted information here. And so I can click on this option here that says view merged data. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what you'll see happens now is it actually inserts a sample from my spreadsheet. So dear Zion, and here it says jumpstart 220 to 15. And so here I could go through each of the rows in my spreadsheet and I could sample the data to see what that looks like. So there it's inserted all nine of my uh, different contacts. And you can imagine in this case, it's only nine. So if I had to do it manually, it's not that much. But imagine I had 500 contacts or 1,000 contacts. It could take a long time to go through and insert all those. And automating it and letting the computer do that work for you is a much better move. What I can also do here, if we look here, um, there's also an option to highlight merge fields. If I click on that, it'll highlight where all the different merge fields are. So you could see where it's inserting information. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now what I can do is so I've created my message, I'm ready to send it out. A few options you could have, you could export these to a new document, so export the entire output of the nine records to a new document, or you could have each one go to its own separate document. So let's say for, an in, for instance that you wanted to print this all, this could be a good move. Uh, you could also merge the printer. This will uh, send out and print uh, a separate copy for each row in your spreadsheet, so each person will have its own printout. Um, but in this case, I wanna do an email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on merge to email. Once I click on that, within this, what you can do is it says to, and my spreadsheet has the email address. So I'll go ahead and select the email address field. I could insert a subject line. Your bill is due soon. Um, unfortunately, I can't uh, insert a merge field into here. So you can't customize the subject line by individual. It just has to be a generic subject. If you are looking to be able to uh, modify the subject line, you can do that in Microsoft Office using an add-in. And I have a link to that video below in the description is if that is something you wanna do. However, with WPS, uh, you can't do that out of the box. And now for the mail format, you could either attach it, you could do a pure text email, or you could do HTML. In this case, I'm just gonna go with pure text. And then you could choose which records you wanna send. So what this means is, 
When I showed you my spreadsheet, there were a whole bunch of different contacts in there. A record is basically each contact well, within that spreadsheet. I could do all, I could just do the current person, or I could do a range, and maybe I'll just do two through three just for the example. And when I click on OK, what'll happen is it'll start doing the mail merge. Here in this case, I'm using Microsoft Outlook as my email program, and I get a prompt here just uh, asking me to allow sending this message. Uh, it'll work with any email software that you have. It'll just go to whatever the default email software is on your computer. Um, Outlook is the one I happen to have installed, but you could use any other one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Outlook and here if I go into my inbox, here I can see that my emails have arrived, arrived where it says, Dear Jaquan, uh, your bill for plan value is due on 220-225. Please submit a check to this address. And here you see that it arrived at kevstrat3 at outlook.com. Uh, and here's the second uh, bill that I sent through and this also arrived via email. So both of my emails went through and arrived with the recipient. If I go back to WPS Office, what I can also do is along with uh, merging to email, here I can merge to printer, and let's say if I just do these two records, I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. This will bring up the print dialog. I'm just gonna print it to PDF for now just to, just to demonstrate how this works. We're gonna go ahead and click on OK. Now it's gonna prompt me to save it. I'm just gonna call this mail merge just to show what this looks like. I'm saving the PDF, but you could also just send it to your printer. And here if I go back to the desktop, you'll see there's a PDF on my desktop. And what it's done is each individual page is one of the, uh, the merges here. Um, and so here you see I have my two messages. So if you were to do this for emails, if you were to do this for letters, uh, either approach works, it works very well. Okay, well that is just a quick tutorial of how you could use WPS Office using both their document program and their spreadsheet program to do a mail merge. Once again, mail merge helps you automate sending out a bulk number of emails or letters and to customize each one so you don't have to manually do that. If you learned something new by watching this video and the mail merge in WPS is gonna help you become more productive, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other ideas or anything else you want to see me cover in the future on this channel, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.